lot of space. <laughs> Laptop taking a lot of space. Welcome to Talks About It with Fran Jez. I'm your host, Fran Jez, and a returning guest, Navi the Prophet. You already know. How you doing today? I'm doing lovely, man. I'm doing quite lovely. Thank God. Good, you know? good. Thank God. Glad to hear. How about yourself? Doing very well. Uh, just working with this new equipment today, so mm. I just want to make sure I'm doing a good job. <laughs> Got you. We were talking about music earlier. Yeah. About um, the creative process. Let's yeah. start there. What's your creative process Whew. for writing lyrics? I think, you know, and I was saying this especially for myself, uh, being in that environment is number one. Being in that perfect environment that you feel 100% comfortable with creating whatever, excuse me, whatever it is that you do as far as whatever art it is. You know, you have to be in that comfortable space. That I feel like that's the number one thing. <clears throat> yes, sir. Good looking. Yep. I think that's the number one thing. And number two, like most people have other vices, such as, you know, smoking, drinking, or whatever. I don't always encourage, you know, like bad, you know, crazy drugs or anything like that. But a lot of artists have, you know, indulged in different things to help create, you know. And how about you? What do you do? Uh, occasionally just marijuana, occasionally, that's it, but nothing else too hard, that's it, I don't do anything else, you know, I don't really go hard on the alcohol anymore, it's been a long time since I drank, like, hard alcohol, it's been a long time, like. So you used to, that was part of your process before? No, not even, not even, um, not even, you know, before I, I didn't really do much of anything. You know, whatever hit me usually, even still now, I don't necessarily have to. You know, most of my songs come from, you know, <laughs> honestly, inspiration from other people and um, maybe situations that I've been into. And it doesn't really take much of it doesn't really take much vice to to write or get inspired when it comes to things like that. You know, situations and real life situations or situations, I guess you could say, you know. So you saying you pull from real life experience? Mostly, mostly, and then I, I guess you could say like, you know, being me being a huge movie buff, and I think you can relate to this. You can definitely pull from movies and different movies and kind of like put them together, sort of thing, in like the same story and kind of create one yourself. And I've done that multiple times in different songs. Like, most people will never notice, of course, because I would change, you know, names and characters and things like that or whatever. Because there's been times I have written, written some story stuff. So, yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. I, um, I walk and I walk and I walk in a circle. As big as I can walk in my apartment, mm -hmm. I'm walking. Whatever room I'm in, I'm in, and I'm repeating the verse with mm. the beat on repeat, and and yeah, I just keep feeling it good. I repeat it. I'm filling in the next bar, the next bar, and that, I just keep going that way. I keep repeating the whole verse until like I'm complete. And I just keep going. Do you take? Do you feel like, like say for instance? If you know you're going to write today, right? You know that you're going to take the time out to write today and be creative today, right? And you say to yourself, I'm going to write one verse or one song. How do you go about that? I don't. I'm real natural with it. If it's not flowing, it's not flowing. It's not going. Right? So I don't go into it thinking I'm going to do a whole song right now. Perfect. My intent, of course, that would be beautiful if it if it can cuz it has happened. Mm -hmm. Organically I could write the whole song in one sitting. Right. Cuz it's usually therapy. Right. It's, it's it's just easy. Totally. But to to say I'm going to write this verse right now is impossible. I can't predict the future. <laughs> it's if it's if it's if it's flowing, 
I'll, I'll definitely bang out a, a verse, no problem. Mm. Or I'll just get majority of it done and then rush the end just to get the idea down of what I was feeling. Mm. If I'm getting stuck at the end, and then you just come back to it. Mm. But yeah, that's about it. How about you? Uh, you know, I try my best to go to a place outdoors that is that's nice. That is mostly quiet. As quiet as possible, you know. Being from Yonkers is constant sirens, especially it depends on what time, what side of town, of course. But it's constant noise. I just, I guess you could say it's constant traffic. Let's just say, uh, I'm constantly trying to go to different parts <laughs> of the U.S. or wherever I can find some peace and quiet, and I really keep it dolo like that because you know it's just really a peace of mind. It's it's therapeutic, like we spoke about. It's very therapeutic. Just being able to be one with nature and at the same time be able to create nothing out of something, you know. That's just the mo- that's the best feeling in the something world. Out of something out of nothing. Excuse <laughs> <My me. man. laughs> um, something out of nothing, excuse me. That that's just the best experience is what I mean. Like just I was just thinking about the experience in my mind as I'm talking about it. And I was like, damn, I need that. Like I was just saying it recently that I'm gonna take a trip to the Catskills. Um yeah. To the casino. No, I'm no, joking. I'm joking. <laughs> that man is crazy. This guy over here. That guy is crazy. The <laughs> casino. Nah, but what's going on in the Catskills? No, I was just going to basically try and um, rent a spot out there for like two days or something and just shut off my phone, pretty much. You know, um, just get, you know, going in my mind, you know, just... Be more one with myself. I mean, Talk there's nothing. It. There's nothing better than learning more about yourself. And the only way to do that is to not be distracted from everything else going around you. And to do that, you got to be away from society. You got to be away from the, everything. Distracting the noise, the music, the 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 cars. You have to be away from everything as much as possible. Yeah, you got to be with yourself. Mm-hmm. You Escape. Gotta work through whatever is on your mind. Mm-hmm. The reason you're distracting your life and and these thoughts is because you don't want to deal with it. You want to work through it. Mm-hmm. And that's the key. Work through it. Mm-hmm. I do it at home, though. I'll, I'll shut all the lights off, mm-hmm. you know, silence all the devices, mm-hmm. and, you know, just meditate, mm-hmm. work through things. But in nature, it's even better. Yeah. yeah. There's vitamins we get from just the sun, from grounding being yeah gr- being barefoot right being barefoot in the woods and yeah absolutely let's get into grounding yeah absolutely i think uh it's definitely an experience especially they say you sit you know if you sit barefoot back to back you know back from a tree like sitting down though and you know tree hugger no no not hugging a tree you know I'll get, I'll get, <laughs> your back is against the tree, the tree. <laughs> And you're just sitting down barefoot. They say that's another thing like that you feel. Yeah, grounding, yeah. barefoot on grass. Mm-hmm. These are the benefits. Right. Grounding appears to improve sleep, normalize the day, night cortisol rhythm, mm. reduce pain, reduce stress, shift the autonomic nervous system from sympathetic toward... Pa- I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Parasympathetic activation, mm. increase heart rate variability, speed wound healing, and reverse <laughs> reduce blood viscosity. Mm. I had to think so much I can't even understand it. Listen, but it's good for you. It's just no, it works. <laughs> Let's just say it works. Okay, all those big words mean it's good. It's yeah. good for you. It's good for you. Grounding. <laughs> You know the liver king, right? Yes. That was one of his uh, nine ancestral tenets, Mm -hmm. grounding. Mm -hmm. Touch the earth at least once a day. Yeah. Get sun on your face and on your eyes, Mm -hmm. minimum 10 minutes a day, bonding. It It was all good stuff. Yeah. Definitely, it was all good stuff. Some of the stuff. Yeah. Not all of it. Not yeah. the, the tenants didn't mention the steroids. Oh, okay. The there you tenants go. was all the the positive stuff he preached. Oh, okay. It was more do as I say, not as I do. Ah, okay, good. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. But he's he's good people. He um he just Yeah, I noticed he's always barefoot. 
You yeah. know, you notice that, right? He's always barefooted. All his videos, I noticed that immediately. He's living and that I, ancestral and I, life. And I noticed like how he lives is one thing, even though he has a home stuff like that. I noticed how he lives is, and in, in in a way of like, you know, like what we talked about his actions yeah. and stuff. It's completely different. Yeah, hundred percent. It definitely changes how you feel. Like when we talk about cold showers, right? Hundred percent. After that cold shower, you get that shock protein. Is what they call it. Really, it's like a shock protein that go throughout your body. And this is like something that pretty much like most people will never ever get to that level or never even feel that ever at all in their lifetime because they just most people are scared of water, period. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then, uh, you know, getting into that cold water can definitely um, help that blood flow throughout the entire body. You know, like I said, uh, brings out those proteins in your body that are, aren't normally activated, you know. <clears throat> it's crazy benefits you can get from that. Better sleep. I just pulled up the benefits. I'll read Lo them real quick. Ahead. All right, so these are the benefits of cold exposure, cold showers. Mm -hmm. uh, bolsters your immunity to common colds. So now your immune system's mm -hmm. strong enough to fight common colds. All right. Combat symptoms of depression. Yep. Depression. It honestly <laughs> takes your mind off of everything. Right. And then you feel right. icicles coming right. down on you. <laughs> right. Shock protein. Right. Improves circulation. Right. Blood circulation increases metabolism. Right. Come on, you're losing weight just by sitting yeah, in a cold just shower. By, well, no, just by sitting in a cold bath or something yeah, or yeah. A cold How whatever. You your, your cold exposure. You're right. Reduces inflammation and prevents muscle soreness. Mm -hmm. Come on. Relieved <clears throat> localized pain. Mm -hmm. I like it. That's Hel the last one. Health is wealth. So, um, I be doing. 15 to 20 minutes in the sauna and then i cool off for like five minutes and then cold shower i feel incredible yeah you fuck with any of that so i do the cold showers every now and then and that's pretty much it and then i told you recently that i just recently bought a uh inflatable uh tub for me to sit outside with uh that i will be filling up and just sitting outside with that pretty much with ice every once in a while pretty much that's it just to sort of <clears throat> get what i need wherever i need it because it's pretty much i can travel with it you know so it's, it's cool yeah. nice yeah. <clears throat> i love it but i hate it yeah the the sauna i, I really enjoy but yeah the, the sauna the cold, yeah i like the sauna. well after I, you you get used to it the cold is cool but yeah that, yeah, yeah initial initial yeah that's sh goddamn that man. shock is like oof. crazy man. yeah so let's talk about um, music, record deals versus independent. <sighs> Pros and cons, one of each. Let's do that. Let's start there. What's the What's the first pro you can think of of being with the record label? Um, you have having, I guess you could say, a lot of backup. Budget. That budget is crazy. You, know, you got a lot. Well, yeah. Depending on where you are, you have a lot of backup. A lot of people backing you. Yep. You know, a lot of sponsors right away. Boom, right off the rip. You know, you're gonna get that. Yep. Yep. I would and say pro, pros with um, being independent. I would say um, creative control. That is the one of the most important things an artist could have. Creative control. That's so important. I mean, that's everything to me. You know, that's why. That's exactly why I think even some artists like myself. You know, I, I I can't lie. Sometimes I might procrastinate on certain things, even with life going on. You know, you might have certain things ready or available to put out, but you sort of procrastinate on these things. That sort of thing you can't do when you have sort of major deals on the table and, you know, things are on the line. You got to, it's got to come out after, you know, certain it's, it's time. It's business. It's yeah. not organic no yeah. more. Now, yeah. now you got a deadline. Yo, we need this we yeah. need the album now. I got to right. be good too. Right, <laughs> right. And nothing is, I don't mess with nothing that's not organic, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's whack. That's it's whack. forced is whack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Absolutely. Those are good pros and um, pros. Yeah. Uh, what about the cons? Ooh. Cons of independent. Cons of. You struggling. It's out of your pocket until right. you make it. Right. You're struggling. Oof. You're hustling. Yep. Out the trunk. <laughs> now it's not even physical, so you got to be on the line. Yeah. You got to be doing shows and stuff. You got to yeah. be forcing your music into people's ears. Yeah. <clears throat> the cons for a record deal, 
You got to pay everything back. Oh, yep. <laughs> as soon as you get them big checks and yeah. stuff, you start got to pay everything back right away. Yeah, that, that, that part, they, they front everything. They they give you everything in the world. And then the it's all debt. Yeah, it's all debt that death. they're showing you. They got to pay back pretty much. Right. And then, you know, they, they, got, they, have, they have smart lawyers. So somebody that's just an artist doesn't understand the, right. the contract. The logistics of the contract at all. Yeah, that, that's another negative of uh, the record labels. They they always take advantage. Well, of course, it's business, it's money. Well, now I guess you could say that's the dope thing also about social media, like that in this in this aspect, what we're referring to, that education has grown because of social media. Like you get a lot of producers and a lot of rappers trying to school the young generation on how the music industry is. Like to be honest, if we didn't have, in a sense, a lot of these social media platforms and a lot of these podcasts telling us and showing us how these record labels work a lot of these young artists young new artists independent artists wouldn't be so uh successful as they are today a lot of them are very young but very successful independent artists out there man for real like yeah they they came into the game at a good time mm mm-hmm. yep 100% got to respect that and they and they kind of like looked at the game they kind of looked back you know and stepped back and looked at everything else what was going on I was like nah i'm not I, I think i got it you know and they went for it and i guess i guess you could say that's a huge risk but for every risk there's a reward right the so. bigger the risk the bigger the reward correct 100 percent. yeah <clears throat> what would your advice be to a new father a new mm. father comes to you like yo baby's about to come out you got some advice for me? Uh, I would say take your time with everything. Like, just take your time with everything, everything, everything you do. From when you picking up the baby, from when you're looking at the baby, when you're feeding the baby, when you just take your time. You know, take your time. Slow the world down for a second. And I bet you you'll appreciate it the older you get, you know, when you're with your child. Yeah. yeah, there's nothing to fear. Just enjoy the ride. Mm-hmm. Enjoy every moment. All right. Because yeah. uh, the only kids once. Yep. That's it. Oh, man. Yep. What about um, <clears throat> for a lean physique but muscular? It's more of a a higher protein, low carb diet with with some heavy exercise, right? Mm-hmm. Lean but muscular. Somewhat. <clears throat> Somewhat. I mean you definitely you definitely you need your greens. I mean it's more greens than anything. Um and um as far as carbohydrates, I mean you know, you're gonna you might get some from some starches like your potatoes and your sweet potatoes. That's what I mean, even like those. That. You, you, you know, that's you not cut back on those. Right? That's not yeah, because that's not it's not even so much because I don't eat as much of it. You know, when you don't eat as much of it, it's it it actually helps you. You know, it just helps your entire system better as far as digestive. If anything, especially the sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato! So, I know is amazing. Right. No, but the regular potato. Regular it's potato. Like, every like more starch where you. Yeah. Wearing. So regular potato. I don't. <clears throat> I don't barely have it anymore. It's, yeah, like, it's like right, you yeah. said, it's it's not as it's not one of those things I I eat as much anymore. It it's very rare. It would have to be mixed with like some sort of soup or something like that, and that would be in the winter time where they need to be hearty or something, right? But um, it's very rare nowadays. But like I said, when it comes to being muscle in that, but lean but yeah i would say honestly protein heavy lifting some like, cardio cut back on carbs cardio after equals burn fat faster there you go that's just an easy rhyme to remember you know when you're doing your workouts you know don't take a million selfies in between your in between your sets <laughs> and take uh you know i would take like so what's the point of going to the gym if you're not going to take a selfie Man, 
then you're not going to the gym, man. You're you going never to the would. Gym. If you didn't take a selfie, you didn't go. You know, it don't matter, man. <laughs> you Yo, let me tell you something. Up. You know, let me tell you something. I've had, you know how many times people like, I, I, I just, even recently, I just started going to the gym, but every once in a while, I was just doing pull-ups and shit like that at the park. And every once in a while, people come to me, it's like, yo, bro, like, damn, like, you lost mad weight. You look like you've been working out. But they don't never, they never see me working out on Instagram. <laughs> you know, so to them, they're like, since when do you work out? Like, because they never see me on Instagram, you know? And that's that's the way I like it. You know what I mean? Like, you don't work out. it's the element of surprise. Like, nah, I just, oh, it's just only, you know, every once in a while, get me a fat girl and we just, you know, just work each other out. We just lift, power lift each other. <laughs> like, God. you know, so I'm a big girl. <laughs> People. Yeah. We were just in in a luxurious vehicle. Oh, yeah. This vehicle was so luxurious. <laughs> <laughs> Where the driver's speedometer usually is, it was a screen. It was just a screen. The whole thing was a big screen of what he's looking at in front of him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The entire roof was glass in this huge truck. Yep. Technology has came such a far away. It's crazy. You got anything to say about car technology? Man, technology, technology, technology. Well, right now, I think everybody's complaining and talking about electric versus gas. Now, there's a big misconception of having these electric cars. And I will say, like, for instance, when it's wintertime, they always say, the cars don't charge that good in the winter time, and it's clear. I mean, it's battery operated; it's half battery operated. You know, some of these cars, but it's clear it's because it's too cold. It makes a lot of sense, especially have battery packs sitting outside. And you know, if we live in New York, I mean, it gets insanely cold sometimes, and the, the weather gets crazy too as well. So, I mean, how much could they hold up? Of course, they're not gonna hold up. Depends on the weather, um, and clearly. When you were relying too much on technology, clearly, as you can see, there's been plenty of accidents to show and prove that these things aren't properly, you know, working, you know, just yet. They haven't been perfected just yet. You know, too many fatalities behind electric vehicles because they aren't, you know, they're malfunctioning or whatever. The gas is going or the steering is whatever, you know, versus gas cars. I mean, <laughs> You got a lot of people clearly that drive classic cars from the 60s, 70s, 50s, 40s because not only do they know them, they can work on it themselves. It's cheaper. You know, it's not much labor cost. You know, they know where to get the parts from. You know, with these electric cars, oh, they know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. They'll charge you, you know, like I saw something with uh, Tesla and a guy was charging him for the battery under the car. Uh, twenty thousand dollars. I mean, sixteen thousand dollars. The whole car in total was about twenty five thousand dollars, and he was charging him sixteen thousand dollars for the entire battery that goes under the car. But that wasn't even an issue. It was a exhaust hose. So they were just charging him for a battery pack. But those are the kind of things that you sort of say, like, well, if you don't know any better, because clearly you don't know how to fix electric vehicles, you can easily get duped into spending a lot of money on car parts or whatever it is that they tell you is wrong with the car you're like well i paid this but much for the, the same thing with gas cars you go to the mechanic if somebody no, but, doesn't know no but like majority of people don't know mechanics they, no, they're gonna get jerked too no but like i said like now in the same difference no no it's different now because even nowadays you could youtube how to fix most of your cars especially these you gas know, cars the but you can't not doing that. but you can't do that well, I, honestly, I feel like most people do that nowadays more than ever because that's why they that's why they do it the on same way. We don't know how to work on electric cars. Like well, don't work well, on electric any car. No, oh, no, of course. I mean, a lot yeah. of people don't know how to work on any cars. That's true. That's but I'm the, saying, majority like, majority of people actually don't. Majority I, of, I, of humans don't know how to work on cars. I, I just, I just feel like nowadays people have been getting into it more because the cost of everything has gone up. And you can see it like that's why, 
if you go on these YouTube channels yeah, and you yeah. see these and you see these cars, these things are in the millions because people are watching them course, over and over course. again and f- trying YouTube to figure University. out, YouTube trying to figure University. out, you know, I, I you see these. You be a plumber all over YouTube. Yeah. And like, because plenty of times I've had to fix things on my car. I just go right to the YouTube. Like, yeah, yo, same. like, I just I've used them many times yeah, to, like, just, to clear the, the, the check engine light or something yeah. grimy. Something. Go on. <laughs> something. <laughs> Word. Something. If I got YouTube got it, man. Word. YouTube got it. Word. Wrong. What's your favorite car? Damn. Dream I car. Damn. I don't Actually, know. yeah, let's start off with dream car. Wow. Wow. <sighs> Pause. Unpause. Least favorite car or favorite car? Which no, one favorite you car? You, see, you, you said or favorite car. Yeah, you want to do least? Which one's easier for oh, you? Oh, man. This is a hard one, though. Because I have... Yeah, I love cars, man. Oh, man. I love cars. Just recently, I've just been, like, going crazy over right-hand drive vehicles lately. And me and my brother <clears throat> and a friend of mine, Chino. Shout out to Chino. Um, Chino. Yeah, man. So you know he's got the right hand drive, leg a Honda Legend. You know he's got that from Japan. That shit's crazy. Serious right there. Serious, serious. That's nice. I like that. Serious. Ninety. Like almost like ninety five. Something like that. It's dope, man. Silver. Crazy, man. Very nice. Very mm-hmm. nice. What yeah, about man. your favorite or least favorite? Talk about. I it. mean, my my uh man. <sighs> Man, I love, I kind of like Ferraris. I mean, I've drove a Ferrari before, you know, so that was different. I guess you could say when you drive a certain type of car, too, like like most people could say you like a car. It's like, but you don't know like how it actually performs until you actually drive it. You're like, you never know. It performs like shit, you know. Like, yeah. I've driven, like, a couple cars that drive like shit, you know. Of course. But, uh. Yeah, man, I drove a um, 360 Modena once, convertible, like, Spider, Ferrari. Psh, you know, that was a crazy experience right there. Nice. That was a crazy ex- experience. That was a crazy experience. I mean, um, you know, I recorded myself and everything like that. It was it was pretty dope. It was pretty dope. <clears throat> that is an experience. That's yeah. dope. So I think that was, like, I guess you could say just, just because I was able to drive it, like, psh, and I've and I've driven like a Gallardo before, and it, had, it was nothing compared to that that spider right there. Nice. <laughs> that Very spider nice. right there is crazy. Modena. Well, what's your least favorite car? <laughs> 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 oh man. Uh, sh- <laughs> this is a hard one. Uh, let, let, let me let me let me start. Let, 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 yeah, let, let me start me with my favorite then. Yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> I don't even know, <laughs> but I got many many favorites. Yeah, one, man. one is the 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 Lexus LS lines. Yeah, LS oh, I love those. The Which the nineties ones? Had, yeah, I like those. Of course, those are like the four thirties. Oh, okay, okay. The four sixties or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were the ones that were like, I think they were like. 2015 ish maybe I can't even remember. Oh, those the ones that had the 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 rear seats uh, reclined. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, when yeah. I was like, yo, Lexus stepped it up. I ain't gonna front. I'm wilding like LS 460. I think it was the back seats reclined. I'm yeah. like, I want to be driven in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that nice. always been one of my favorites. But um, sports car wise, I never really think about it. Like actually, the NSX. I feel like I, I care more about that one than like like a Ferrari or a Lambo. Okay. I really want to experience one of those. Yeah. Well, so for me, I like talking about favorite cars. I like most Beamers, like it's from '86. We talking about E30s, them eighty, them E30s, all of them fire. Especially that six series from the '80s, that shark body, crazy. Um, I was. T- I actually owned a, a nineteen a ninety two seven thirty five IL. That was a very limited edition. It only came out two years of that version. Huge, long joint. Like like the those 
Talk seats about it. reclined in the back, and that was a '92, bro. Damn. Like when I had, I had heated seats in that shit. Luxury. I had heated seats in that shit. Had the phone. I had the six disc CD changer in the trunk. In the trunk. I had the fucking battery. <laughs> Yo, a lot of people don't even. Y'all know. don't know about that. First of all, people don't even know what the hell a six CD changer. Yo, is. to have a to and have it a, came in the trunk. To have it stock like that too. <laughs> To have to have a CD to have all right. First of all, yeah, like not a lot of cars in the '90s came with CD players. Period. Like '92, like let alone '92, because that CD player just came out. Like you know, the CDs was just coming out like in the '90s. So I'm gonna Google that. I never really yeah. Realized what year? Think about it. Oh, well, oh yeah, Google that. See yeah, when CDs. When CD. So having a multiple disc changer in one vehicle was high level high level so i knew so when i had the car i bought it from one other owner it was the original owner that i bought it from he was a, like he was a doctor like this right now yo bro <laughs> bro let me tell you something that car in 1992 was $47,000 that's a lot of money in 92 bro 47,000 that's a lot of money now i'm just saying like Forty-seven thousand dollars for, bro. And it had airbag suspension. Psh, bro, it couldn't get no more luxury than that, bro. The first car was eighty-four that had a CD player, but you know that's a rarity. Yeah, that um, shit's rare. But it said by the nineties, that's when you could had the option See? to buy CD players. Right, facts. What well, year was the car? Ninety-two. Oh, of course. That's what I'm Perfect. saying. My shit was Perfect. one of the earliest cars to have and, and like i said it only came out with two years of that beamer line il was a 735 Ooh. il so that year Very was nice. insanely rare and um man i missed that car man that was you know during the first recession when we had the first recession i had that car like and i had another car but at the time man i had to get rid of that car you know, it was a collector's item too, man. All black, Damn. man. But like I always said, man, one day I will come back and get me something or something at least right hand drive or something. I'm looking forward to getting something right hand drive this time. Oh, now we can import that. That'd be a nice. Oh yeah, that's business. what I'm saying. My boy Chino, nice side my boy Chino does it. My boy Chino, he be, you know, oh, he, I'm with it, man. Yeah, let me know. I'm with that money. Man, we gotta call him up, man. Chino, anything that generates money, hit me up. I'm in. Let's do it. <laughs> Where? All right, what else about cars, man? We were talking about worst cars, though. Your least got, favorite. Least favorite cars. Yo, let me tell you something. The, the first one that comes to my mind, All right. I don't even know what model it is, but the make is Daewoo. Is a, oh. Remember? That's the, um. Remember? Is that the, is that the. Is that the, um. I think it was, um, I think it's Korean. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely Korean. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that little round joint they were bubbly yeah that little round bubbly joint i, I um, think they were like late 90s early 01 yes or yes trash, oh my trash goodness. on top of trash yeah that car the only time i experienced that vehicle we, it was a family trip there's five mm. of us we went to dr you know we we, we, we are rich we we, we didn't get the, the caddy truck oh so you <laughs> we, oh, we got the caddy truck with the roof wait, we, so we you, got the day roof for the five of us you rented that Rented that. Yo, you know, five we, people is crazy in a day. Woo, a whole family in a day. Woo, trunk full of lunch. No problem. I can't wait to put that in the rhyme though. Yo, five in a day. Woo, yo, can't wait. No, nah, but in DR, that's nothing. You I just, know. You see five family nah, I'm talking on, about on a five in a day. Woo, out here. Five in a day when DR real, is light. Though, you'll see a family of five on a yeah. moped. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Holding a baby, some yeah. somebody holding a baby. Such a beautiful country. <laughs> yeah, with a baby. Somebody's holding sandwich a, in between. In between, somebody's holding That's the, the baby. bumpers for the yeah. baby. The bodies. <sighs> Crazy. Light work. You been to DR? No, I always wanted to. We out, bro. Yeah, we out. We out. It's cheap. Yeah, I know. It's cheap. I man. hear about it's it all the time. Paradise. The best food. The yeah. best hospitality. Yeah. The best beaches. Drinks. Everything, the weather, amazing. Everything's amazing. The food, you know me. I gotta say the food again because yeah. the food is everything. Yeah, if yeah the food's yeah. amazing. The weather's good. The people get, good. That's it's it. A good time. You're in. It's a good time. You're in. 
Hundred percent, and it's cheap. You gotta come out of pocket. Everywhere outside of the United States is cheap. <laughs> yeah, ain't that? Some, you know, <laughs> not everywhere. I'm not I'm most places. But, you, know. you know, islands and shit. Yeah, I mean, I just I, for me, it's it's all about finding peace wherever I go and finding a great sort of vibe, and you know, vibe differently, but finding a different sort of peace wherever I go. You know, that way I can capture the moment much better. You know, that way it's much, it's different and and authentic at the same time, wherever I go, wherever I'm at, whichever place I experience. Like, I try to move around with that attitude as much as possible so I can stay open-minded as, and stay as free as possible, you know, for real. Well, when I travel, I'm in the slums, <laughs> I'm looking for real food. <laughs> I don't want to be where the tourists are. Where the tourists are, is all nice and flashy. Nah, nah, nah. Take me. <laughs> Take me in. Take me to the spot. I, I want to go as deep into, until my heart feels a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> until I say, oh, I went too deep. <laughs> I'm good right here. Where's the wait, food? Wait, wait, this is wait, where wait. I want to be. This, where's the food? Where's the food? <laughs> nah. You took me, you me too deep. Nah, imagine that. He ain't stopping there. You start telling somebody to drive it out. I'm like, nah, motherfucker, you paid me already. I got the money already. Yeah, he's security now. Yeah. You know, in those countries, yo, yeah, they're yeah. security. Yeah, man. Cab drivers, they're security. Yeah, they wait yeah. there for you. Yeah, yeah. Yo, they know you got American dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever you want. Wherever you feel comfortable, Wherever let's you, go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> However deep you feel comfortable. I'm dropping you. you off. Nah, nah, they'll, they'll, they'll wait for you, yo. It's love. There's <laughs> always love. Yeah. Cash is king. Yeah, nah, cash is king. Cash right is king. 100%. You know, sometimes I feel like it's an insult to tip somebody too low. The lounge we were just at, I wanted to leave a tip on the table. I'm like, yo, a few dollars is probably going to be a smack in the face to these people. In Wait. another country, a few dollars is you made their week. Oh, yeah, right. You know what right. I mean? It, might have, it has to be like a five or a ten. Right. If I had three dollars in my pocket, that's a slap in the face. Right. You seen that movie, Waiting? Yes. Remember? Bro. So you know what part I'm talking about? Yes. Talk about it. Bro, Talk about it. <laughs> oh, no. But that's exactly why. That. No, but listen, but that's exactly why I don't mess with people that handle my food, neither. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know how people are, like, super rude when people come, like, super Like, don't ever I'm be an rude angel to, to those the, people. Yo, my, are you kidding me? Bro, I'm like, how was your day today? You feeling okay? Like, I start talking to them and make sure they if don't the need a hug. the food is trash, I say, this is great. Yo, for <laughs> I ain't sending that back. Yo, listen. A1. There's no way you got to. There's no way. You're a psychopath. If you're going to go to a Friday's or some shit and try to say, nah, I don't want this shit. This shit ain't done right. I want this. Some I'm glad you said Friday's because at Friday's, the hostess doesn't care about you. Mm. Your waitress doesn't care about you. The mm. chef doesn't care about you. The manager doesn't care about you. Yeah, they're thinking, why are you complaining? Yeah, you're at Fridays. Yeah, Fridays. <laughs> you know what you're expecting. <laughs> yeah, don't buy a Honda and come back and, yeah, and, 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 and complain that it ain't Cadillac ain't, suspension. A, a, yeah, Mercedes or something <laughs> like. You know what you came here for. Come it was on. Fridays. It's Fridays, man. Nobody's here for your feelings. The word. Even the drinks. You Even when you don't want salt on your margarita rim, we're going to put we're it gonna, anyway. We're going to put it anyway because that's protocol. Fridays. That's our protocol. And if we don't do it, we get written up for little shit like this. <laughs> you know, let us do our fucking job. Shut up and stuff your fucking mozzarella stick in your mouth. <laughs> you know? <laughs> the drama. You know, but that's how it is. You know? I love it. Listen to your music. Watch your sports. Yeah. Shut your mouth. We don't expect hospitality. Yeah. We don't care. That's why they blast the music in there. So they don't have to talk to you. You know, don't you realize that they got to have a whole fucking DJ in there now? They They have DJs in there now. They got a DJ and then. And they got the sports. 17 sports on. 17 different sports on. They don't want to hear you. They don't want to fucking talk to you. They don't just. You order and that's it. If you want to order something, just. They'll reach over and. Huh? All right. That's it. They don't want to hear anything else. Or do sign language. Like, if you know it. How you feel about those restaurants now? I. I will never eat, well, I could never eat at any of those restaurants ever again. I still do it, but I don't enjoy it when I do it. Yeah, I mean, you feel like shit. I know you do. You have to. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's trash. It's, it's yeah. definitely trash. You know, somebody was mentioning something about like a Golden Corral the other day, and I was like, you know, there's not many Golden Corrals. When there's not many certain, like, like that restaurants around, like those big, huge chains, I mean- Something's that, wrong. Yeah, something's wrong, and you have to or, be- Think of it this way. I've never been to the Golden Corral, but I'm assuming it's seafood. 
Yeah, but it's buffet style. No, but I'm. But my thing is. No, it's like everywhere mixed. It's not. Can't have no, it's not. It's not just seafood. seafood. It's you know not. Ju- yeah, that's true too. Yeah, that's, you know. that's absolutely true. Yeah. Um, that's why some, so you, so, some fast food chains don't even make it to the West Coast or the East Coast from either side. Of course, because the company doesn't really want to weaken their shit. Mm-hmm. They don't want to. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And then they have to, uh, like what you're saying, sourcing. Even yeah, f- sourcing, sourcing to keep even their, their yeah. Name up. Now most of it, even if it's farm raised, just sourcing it, just in general, it's hard to get you it. Open a pizzeria in Yonkers, you open that same shit in Kentucky. Yeah, trash, trash, <laughs> <laughs> trash, trash. Yo, same open ingredients. GGs right here. Yo, Yo oh open GGs in Kentucky. Man. Trash, trash. We don't want that. The shit. sauce, the cheese, the hospitality. Yeah, yeah. Everything's trash. trash. Get this out of here. Close this place. Yeah, close this place. <laughs> They'll be rioting that place with fucking picket signs over there. Straight trash. Oh man. Right now, what's your favorite thing to eat, yo? Oh man. Meal like like when you hungry for a meal, what's that meal right now? Oh man, sometimes I get a little bit of um white rice. I get different types. I like different types of beans or or lentil peas and things like that right now. Uh, I'm getting a huge sources of iron that way. Um and um it depends when it comes to different sources of proteins. You know, it depends on my mood, man. My man, you I'm know? talking about delicious wise. Yeah. <clears throat> what what and, and when you want to eat a big meal, uh, if it is just rice and beans, what 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 what, what are you, how are you cooking the beans? What is it? No, like I said, I have different. There's different types of beans that can be prepared that I like. I like different types, so it does. There's no, you know what I mean. I like, like I said, I like lentil beans, red beans, black beans. So that's what I'm saying. When it comes to just being in the mood for those things, I'll have either one of those, right? Rice and beans. Yes, and then I'll have like that's just to have like a lot of. Or then, like I said, as far as protein. You know, there's different types of plant-based meats and things that I may use. I might do a um, fried up eggplant. I might do that, uh, strips of that, which is delicious, you know, like eggplant parmesan or something like that. Do you skin the eggplant? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I, most of the time I do. Most of the time, because I don't like the the outside (laughs) skin sometimes. I don't like the texture. Like, Do you put, do you put flour? Yeah, yeah. Before the, the, the eggs? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking yeah. about like battering it? Yeah. Sometimes no. You ever use? Uh, you ever seen buttermilk before? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes I just use the buttermilk, and that way it's easier. You know, the flour and the buttermilk, right, and it's just right, easier right, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. So that way I don't use egg. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I like using egg. Yeah. I mean, egg definitely holds egg, it. Egg with with fucking eggplant fried. It's, it's oh a, yeah, it's a whole different experience. Yeah, of course. Man. Yeah. I love it. I love it. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes fried I do it. Eggplant. Sometimes I do it myself like that. You know, you have the. Yo, it's it's amazing, like, yeah, yeah. right? Um, but you know, lately I've actually uh, tried a Chinese vegan spot. Like I was saying, and man, the textures and everything were were amazing. You know, you know what it was the the replacement. Like, what did you have? What it's something called Satan, and it's like, come on, come on. Like, no, it's, no, come no, on, keep not, it PG. Not like that. Not spelled that way. It's spelled uh, S E I S E I T A N. That's the way it's spelled. And then pretty much it's like, that's what they call it, something chicken. Like, you know, and then pretty much it, the texture is like. Like, what's it made of? Is it, is it a vegetable? It's more like, it's it more a like cake? a wheat. It's a wheat. It's not like a wheat. It's just wheat, like bunched together, pretty much. And then they fry the outside. Fry it till it's crispy, pretty much. Wheat. On All the right. outside, yeah. That sounds pretty good. Sometimes, sometimes people use different soys and stuff like that, but it. No, like this one's just a regular wheat. Please, yeah, man. yeah. I respect that. And then you know anything fried. Yeah, and then right. So then, then what they, they do is, is what they do is they Vegan fry it right, and then they like put like that general toast sauce and they mm. toss it in that and all that with garlic, chopped garlic, scallions, side of white rice, broccoli. Yeah, they do all that. Damn. And then it, even a plate of like uh, I remember I had a um, also a huge plate of uh, of. Uh, Ramen with uh, pieces of tofu. It was a peanut butter tofu ramen miso. Peanut butter. I'm gonna assume it's Vietnamese. 
No, no, Thai. Thai yeah, use Thai. peanut butter. Yeah, I was going to say Thai. Peanuts. Yeah. But they but they do a little bit of everything. That's why they specialize in a little bit of everything. Yeah, because the peanut butter threw me off, but I'm like, yo, I know yeah, Thai. This, a lot it's of not Thai a, dishes have peanut, but it, peanut sauces. But this name, I was going to say, it's not a peanut butter taste, though. It's just... That's just the name, and so you could tell they put a little bit of a hint of peanut in yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah, that's pretty I've, I've much had it. Many types, I love that. Yeah, love man, it. you gotta and try. It, it differentiates from all the other Asians, hundred percent, because it, it, they're all similar in a sense where <clears throat> it's rice, protein, noodles, vegetables, mm-hmm. but and they all use so, soy sauce and the green. Don't forget this. Don't forget the seaweed. Yeah, the, the greens. The, um, yeah. Bok choy. Bok choy. Yep. Which is a long list of yeah, shit. Yeah. These these are big countries. Yeah. But and they all use soy sauce. Yes. But but. Thai really differentiates with that peanut. Yeah. Right? Yep. That's a big, 100%. That's a big difference. 100%. You no, know, um the Japanese definitely are more about the raw fish. Mhm. <clears throat> mhm. Yeah. Those are the big differences I feel. That I, that I I I feel are the the raw Japan's known for the raw fish. Yeah. And I've never done it and I don't, you know, I don't what, plan What's on your doing favorite it. out of those three? Chinese, Japanese and Thai. What's your favorite out of those wow. three? I think I would I would Go with Japanese though, because what um, you like, you know, believe it or not, you know they've had you know how they make different types of vegetable rices and um, they they make um, stir fry vegetable different types of noodles and stuff like that. They make all that. I get tempura um, vegetables. Yeah, you, you know that's that, what they got. Yes, <laughs> I get they they tempura everything and all vegetables. Like I just said, like five seconds ago. Yep. Anything fried. Anything. So oh, that's what man. I would get if I go to a Japanese spot. And and um so there's some other Japanese spots also that do the sushi the way I like. So they do it uh uh seaweed, the rice, and they do sweet potato inside. Oh, okay. I yeah, I've seen that. <clears throat> yeah. That sounds boring as hell. Yeah. I get the Oh the avocado with the sweet potato, I'm sorry. Avocado. It's with the sweet potato, my bad. The avocado <clears throat> with the sweet potato. They even be throwing a cream cheese and something. No, I don't do that. I don't do that. No. You don't do none of the good stuff. I don't do no I don't man, do no white some cream. Good rolls good. out there, man. Like <clears throat> I was in Costa Rica mm-hmm. and I went fishing, deep sea fishing. Mm. Man, it was it was violent. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> violence on that boat. I'm sure you know, men attacking fish. It was it was crazy. It's crazy. And my man cut that fish up right on that boat, and we ate it with soy sauce. Damn, it was incredible, man. Wow, incredible. So I respect all that Japanese love. So if I were to choose between those three countries, it would be Japan. Yeah, Japan for sure. Japan, and their ramen's amazing. Their yeah, their ramen, but they're known also for ramen. their freshness. Just their freshness and ingredients. They're they're like known like yeah, they definitely they, they take pride in like using fresh those uh those white onions. The, 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 they're like little scallions. Strips. No, they're they're onions. They're oh yeah, onions. oh yeah, yeah. The the long onion. Man, yeah. yeah, the flavor. When I'm cooking an Asian dish, I 100 percent get that. Mm. I love that mm. man. I'm in that spot in Getty Square on the corner. Is it still there? The vegetable spot. Vegetable spot. It was right there oh. on the corner. Yeah. Wait, that just tells that just tells a market. It was, yeah, it was just fr- it was fruits and vegetables. I don't think it's there no more. Wait, right? wait, okay, and right on the corner. Okay, right next to it is a clothing. I don't know. You remember where the little McDonald's used to be? The little McDonald's, yes, the small one. Yo, of course, a few, a few doors. Of down course, it's there. not there. Nothing is there. It's just like a pharmacy right there. Yo, I, that's but there's my a but nah, yo, that spot. I used to go there all the time. But there's a there's a spot right there, a yeah. Main Street. That spot been there too, dumb long. That spot right there. Up Main Street, across the street from La Piñata. What is it? It's a little market, a little it's little fruit there? stand. That stand's been there just uh, as long. Yeah, I got, I, got, I got to try there. Those yeah, little onions. That's where I go. They're, they're not everywhere. That's where I go. I go right there when <clears> I can't go there. The, they might be called white onion or something, but they're mm. not just, it can't just be white onion. Yeah, something. I, I've something. seen it like in supermarkets. Yeah. It's delicious, man. I yeah. love cooking with those little things. Yeah. Yeah, they use the scallions. Scallion, everything. Bok choy, bok choy broccoli. All that. All that. Man, all that good shit. Do you know how to use a wok? What's funny is, I've used it when I was young because really? my mother was in college when I was a kid. My mother went to, it was her second time going to college. Mm. Her second time around, she went for uh, restaurant management. So mm. she had to go through the, the, the cooking course. So she used to try a lot of things at home. Mm. She got a wok. 
Wow. I remember like you know as a kid I'm just playing with it and seeing it, but as an adult I haven't got one yet. Especially because where I live now it's an electric stove. Mm. So I don't know yeah, if it'll yeah, get yeah. the same effect. Yeah, you're not gonna get that wok hay is what that. they call it. You need that you, you need, need that. that you need that flame to have wok hay is you what they the, call the, it. The, the spatula yeah, here yeah, and yeah. then the walk here. Yeah, yeah. you need to do it the same time. Everything got to be bouncing and yeah. flipping. Yeah. Yo, it's or you could do it with one hand. Technically, oh, you could man. do it with one hand. You, no, you got to. No, I'm saying it depends how one hand and then the, 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 no, I'm just saying, the spatula with the other hand. I'm saying bro. it depends God on. Damn. It depends on how big the walk is and and, and, and what kind of stir you trying to do. It, no, what are you, what are you cooking? Stir that whole shit up without letting anything stick. You gotta no, it depends what you are cooking, right? Whether it's rice, it depends what you are cooking. Whether it's rice or just noodles. It's quick yeah. with it. That's I've what done I mean. it. That's I've done I mean. it a couple times in my yeah. house. I the walk I have is too big for my house. I admit, and I need to get a smaller one. Because even I'm, I'm like, damn. Even with they'll get a torch in the backyard, get something, get something crazy with propane, oh, nah. and we walking back there. Walk it like Bro. you're talking. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> Yo, I could do Yo, that. Yo, walk man. it out, man. Yo, walk. I'd rather it, use. Man. I'd rather not even use like a propane. I'd rather use like. Fire. I'd rather use fire. Like, let's go crazy. I had, I have to, I would have to like bring some wood out there and go crazy. Yeah, I would do that shit in the woods, man, somewhere like, and then, but enclose it, of course. You know what I mean? That's not wild. Put a, put a. Yo, walk on what, top. the Work. next topic was barbecues. Mm. Because of shampoo's barbecue that he's trying to do. Right. <clears throat> Love Jolo. We were in Jolo's restaurant today. Work. As like always, he shows love. Love. Jolo, my brother. Love through his food, love through his presence, love through communication. He's good people. Right. And we're looking for a spot to do a barbecue. And yeah, that's why I got barbecue on my list. Cause <laughs> we're still looking for a spot. Yo, what are the things you look forward to barbecues? When you go to a barbecue, what's the first thing you look forward to when you go to a barbecue? And you know it's going to be a good one, though. Cause let's be honest, like when you, I know like, you know, you know when you're going to a good barbecue, like a Brazilian barbecue, or you know you about to go to, you know what I mean, like a straight. If it's, it's top notch, yeah, the pork belly. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that's so unhealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. but everything unhealthy is delicious. My God, some good pork belly crispy on the grill is unmatchable. Okay. I've even had a, I guess it was a Japanese restaurant. I even had a pork belly ramen soup. My God. Yeah, they do that. Sh- yeah. Pork belly is, is one of my favorite meats, but I don't eat it often because it's so unhealthy. Yes. My God, it's, it's just full of yes. grease. Yeah. It's just the fattiest part of the pig. It's crazy. It's crazy. The pig doesn't do crunches. Yeah, at all. So the pig's got a fat belly, and that's where it's at. Also, that's, that's the belly. That's uh, that's what we eat. That's yeah. pork belly. Also, U.S. Incredible. pork is terrible for you. Period. Anything from they say U.S. pork is pretty much banned everywhere else around the world. So you know, everything bad for you is delicious. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that U.S. pork that is US, delicious. That God USDA. Damn, give me that belly. That U.S. Give me that toxic. Pork belly. Give me that toxic pork. <laughs> Crazy. I wrote down. I, I know I misspelled it. I wrote down jolts. J O L T S. I What's wrote that? something wrong. But what do you think I was supposed to write? Jello. Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> I, was I was typing like, too fast. I was like, "What's that?" Yo, Jolo's love, love. If you guys never tried it, it's a vegan. Would you call it vegan? Vegan? No, vegan Caribbean. Caribbean. I would say, um, yeah, vegan Caribbean, Caribbean, Caribbean style. In yeah, newer show. Yeah, newer show. Top notch, man. One of the best in, the, you know, in the state, man. A lot of products there besides just the food. Yeah. A lot of products. A lot of natural products. It's a really good spot. A real natural spot. Mm -hmm. Word. For real. Highly recommend it. So what's the difference? Well, you corrected me with Jamaican. You said Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Does Caribbean cover more of an area, more countries than just Jamaican? Yes. That's why you said Caribbean, right? right? Yes. Because a lot of... A lot of what, what other countries fall? Does does the Bahamas fall into Caribbean? Yes. Okay. And a well, lot of these countries. Name as much as you're in, because this is actually news to me. Dominica. Actually, yo, I got Google right in front of me. Psh, Let's look at the real. Man. Yeah, man. Dominica, Dominican Republic, you know, Puerto Rico. You know, the list goes on, man. Jamaica. 
Jamaica, Barbados. I don't know. I hope this is official. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Google. <clears throat> Antigua. Yeah. Barbuda. Barbados, pretty much. Like, I don't know. Bahamas. Barbados is next. Yeah. Cuba. Dominica. Dominican yeah. Republic. Yeah. Granada. That's what I, I said. Dominica. Haiti. Jamaica, Haiti. Yeah. St. Kitts. Yeah. You never heard of that one. Yeah. Nevis. Saint, oh, it's St. Kitts and Nevis. Mm -hmm. Never heard of that one. Yeah. St. Lucia, St. Vincent, yeah. and Grenadines. Mm -hmm. and tr oh, yo, these names, yeah, they got and in yeah. them, so I think it's saying and. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's St. Vincent and the Grenadines, yes. comma, and Trinidad and Tobago. All right. All right, that's, that's the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. All right, it's news to me. I didn't even know Dominican Republic. Yeah. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Oh, man. That's Mana, crazy. He's saying he's so beautiful. Like, Love bro. that place. Yeah. Got family there. Yeah. Caribbean man. where? where? <laughs> Where's the Caribbean at? I don't see my family over here. I just see my family. What Caribbean? <laughs> what Caribbean? <laughs> we out to the Caribbean. Facts. I mean, like, I yo, mean, we out. Guy... <laughs> yo, we out. We out to the Caribbean. Where we going? How long is it going to take we going to get there? Crazy. Shit, bro. Man. That's it be awesome. like that. So, you said Jolo's Haitian. Yes. All right. So, boom. Yeah. Haiti. Haiti love. Yep. Haiti love. Haiti's the, the, the our neighbor. Love is love. Yeah. Haiti love is good love. Speaking of Haiti, Kodak Black. Damn, yo. Yeah, my man. Hurting. I try not to believe everything I see online. Yeah, but I, I heard, know. I, I heard he's uh, about to get locked up. You didn't I hope, see. I hope that ain't true. It's true. You didn't see the video of him? No. Nah. Oh, there was a video of him looking crazy. Wow. On social media, he just looked like he was on drugs or something like that, like bad. Like he just started talking crazy. People were just like, "Damn!" Oh, that's what it was. He missed his drug test with his PO. Was it? Mm. That's what it was. I think that's what I read. Something real quick. Possibly. Actually, I got Google right in front of me, dog. If that's it, then that's. I'm acting like I don't got. I don't yeah. got the whole world in my hands. Right. That's a fact. <laughs> Technology. Right. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Damn, poor Kodak, one of my favorite artists ever. One hour ago, goddamn. Where? Nah, I don't believe this. Come on. <laughs> what? It's the news, so it can't be true, right? What? Kodak, <laughs> Kodak Black fails to appear in court for drug trafficking. Or does that, or that just mean? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea, bro. That's crazy. Oh, this is from last year, so I guess he had to re, re. But this is what it was last year. He was charged with trafficking oxycodone. Last oh, year. so I guess he's going to court for that. Mm. And he failed to go or something like I that. I don't know. My man, then my man is gonna get a warrant probably. I need to get hit a, a more credible. Website. What about the BET awards? I mean, did you? I know you probably I'm not sure you didn't get to catch it because you didn't get to talk. You didn't talk to me about it. Or whatever. I didn't really get to catch the whole thing, but they I got, honored. I don't got cable no yeah, more, so I don't even know I don't, how to watch. I don't. It, bro. I don't either. But you know, sometimes like on um. You know, you can watch some of these um, channels on some of these free um, apps. Sometimes you got to look through them on what's free and what you can catch, like as far as regular channels. But uh, they were honoring Buster Rhymes. He was getting an honorary award, like, right. like lifetime um, honorary achievement award. Like, so that's, a, that's a big thing. Like, shout out to Buster. Cause Hell yeah. Buster, we, we're talking about Buster Rhymes. Like, yo, like. The first no time one could ever do what he had. What's the first? When was it, you remember the first time you heard Busted Rhymes? My first time. I can't remember. My first My time. Can't see what's that, that, that song. If you really want to party yeah, with me, that might he be was the first that. one. Yeah, my eyes can see. My first that time was first my one. first time yeah. was. What's the scenario? With Tribe Called Quest. He let be let building a pack number one powerful impact boom from the cannon. Row, um, row, like a dungeon dragon. Oh, that, that, that just sounds familiar. Yeah, like he, he's like, <laughs> he's, yeah. he's he's so freaking creative. It's crazy. That was, that was the first time me hearing, and I was like, you know, even back then, even before then, he was much more calm. Like you know, his 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 style before that, it wasn't as wild. So it was interesting to see him even then, and that was in the early '90s already. So. Like we talking about, I don't know when um, 
that album came out, uh, that tribe, that tribe, I'm, I forgot what album, what year that came out. You know, I'm not I that. Mean, name, I get it. Uh, tribe tribe Quest. Um, is it the Low End Theory? No, it's not the Low End Theory. It's um, what's the first album? It? it should be a bunch of faces on there. It looks like a bunch of faces on there. It's like a bunch of pictures of faces on there. It's that one. <laughs> My mind is like shot. Mm-hmm. Yep, the one right there, in the, the the second one. Yep, <clears throat> yeah, Buster was oh, Midnight, Midnight Marauders. Yeah, Midnight, Midnight Marauders. Marauders. You should listen to that. Yeah, I'm with it. No, no, seriously. No, I'm so like serious. you're you 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 yeah. would you would see how much they were ahead of the ahead of their time tremendously. Like, and you know, it's a shame what happened to Five Dog because I'm sure that they would be able to settle their differences. You know, their story. As well is is it their story as well is a pretty they have a documentary, um, Tribe Called Quest. Yeah, I have it on DVD still somewhere. Yeah, in my, in my I like that. In my uh, yeah, in my stash and yeah, they pretty much like later on was like sort of beefing with each other. Fife Dog, one of the crew members out of the guys out of the three guys, he had diabetes pretty bad and, and ended up taking his life um, later later on. But, um, you know, their music will live on forever. And, man, even on the cover of that album, on the cover of that album, I actually have that album on vinyl. The cover of that album is legendary. It has a lot of people on the cover of that album. And people actually came there to take a picture. Oh, yeah, I'm saying that. Yeah, yeah, if you look on there, like Biz Marquis on there, there's there's other people that's on that album cover that weren't even on the album. That's crazy. So they were just friends. Showing love. They were friends of them, like just showing some, like, yo, like, nah, I want to be on the album cover too. Like, so if you recognize a lot of this, a lot of MCs on there that were legendary, and and I say legendary, they were from the golden era of hip hop, you know, and that should be highly respected just alone. Like, I mean, Tribe Called Quest, period. Like, top favorite rap groups of all time besides the Wu. You know, besides Wu-Tang Clan and Mob Deep. You know what I'm saying? I guess you could say, you know. What about your favorite rap group? Favorite rap group? I mean, in the early, when I was you know, a kid. From Jump, I'm, I'm going to say, which which is not, this is not true. I got to think a little more. But yeah. from Jump, I'm going to say the clips. Yeah. Only because the first album I ever bought with my own money. Yeah. You remember Circuit City? Wow, of course. There was one on Central Ave. Yeah, of course. And mm. they were going out of business. And I had a little money because I had a little job. Mm. <laughs> I had to do it a little back then. Yeah, I was yeah, a little yeah. boy. Yeah, me too. Maybe I was 12, 13, I don't okay. know, whatever. <clears throat> and I'm in the basement. That's where the CDs were. Mm. And I'm just flipping through, through, through the, the CD racks, seeing what's, what's half off. It was like maybe six or seven dollars for the for a clip, uh, the, the the first clips album. Right, Lord right. Wallet. Wow, wow. You had to get that. <sighs> to this day, I can listen to that album beginning to end and yeah. love it. Yeah, love it. There's a lot of albums like that, right? I grew up on DMX, yeah. Locks, yeah, New York, DMX, shit. yeah, <laughs> all that, Locks, all that, of course. So when these guys. We're talking about this Virginia shit. I'm like, yo, it opened oh, yeah, the whole new different. world. I'm like, what? These guys, yeah. are, these guys are talking like, like Virginia's crazy. That was different, and I had no idea. And that's artistry where they could paint that picture, right, and show you something that you that you didn't see, I, I, that you didn't grow up on, it. right, <laughs> right. Then look at that. Still, this day I don't believe. It. I'm wow. like, yo, what the hell's going on out there? But what about well, like, of course, there's drugs in every city. In the, in the of country, course, so of course, of course, it happened. But it was just like, what the hell? I loved it. I love that. What about like groups like Onyx? Like you, you ever listen to I Onyx? Lo- right, so I love I Onyx. I loved Onyx, but it was only like one album. So when 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 I was listening to Onyx, it was through my brother. My brother's five years older than right. me. So I would just hear the, the, the hits. Right, right, right. But I loved Onyx. Onyx, the energy, everything. What was it? Um Veronica. <laughs> Come yeah. on, yo! Listen to Veronica. Veronica by Onyx. by Onyx. Shit like that is why I love Onyx. I mean, bro, Onyx was a movement. Yo, um, I feel like Takashi Six Six Nine pulled from Onyx. Really? Yeah. You know how he pulled from X a little bit? 
Like okay. I mean the the his his stage presence his his performance. But why would you say Onyx out of all people? Do you th- even think yeah. he knows what Onyx is? Yes, he's from the city. He's from I think Brooklyn or Queens. I don't know. He's from the city. I know. Okay. So I know he's familiar with all these New York City rappers. It's the energy that they had. Yeah. Same thing with X. I'm not comparing him to n- neither yeah. one of them. Of course not. Cause, but he's just a student of the game. He's a kid looking at, wow, this is what I can do. And he just created his own. I mean, he's an artist, bro. He's an artist. He created his own thing. This, this, but this. I think he pulled from, I see X and I see Onyx with the the yelling, the the the, the passion, the, the all that all that energy shit. I oh, see, I see energy. Onyx and I see... And I see extra. He definitely energy. got. He definitely got some energy. His whole persona, obviously, he created it. Yeah, he created. And everything I think else. he pulled from them. Him being from, a, he's a New York kid. That's all yeah. he heard was Onyx and DMX, probably. And not only, but that's you know, true. That's true. I've never been a fan. He's entertaining to me. Yeah, but his music is not good to me. I don't yeah. listen to it because I enjoy his music. But he's an entertaining kid because he's like a character. He's like the Joker, if you think about it. Yeah, he is. Joker's the bad guy, but we still watch the bad guy. Yeah, we still watch know? him. Right, because he Batman's says, the the guy. Everybody's cheering for Batman. You're saving the the town, but Joker's entertaining. But as even fuck. yeah, because you, even if you notice, like the Joker has, it seems like he has more lines than Batman anyway. You yeah, know what Batman I mean? don't talk a lot. He don't talk a lot. And Batman so, is like Vin Diesel in, in, in every movie, <laughs> and, uh, especially in the Fast and the Furious. I oh, mean, don't talk nothing. Yeah, sick of that shit. <laughs> I fell off. Wait, I way fell off with those. I don't. Me I too. Keeping up. With me that too. Shit no more, bro. I got a life. Bro, yeah, what am yeah, I supposed yeah. to do? Like, come on. I, I got morals. Yeah. <laughs> for, for real. I'm, I'm tired of believing this shit. For real. I'm tired of fake believing Yo, this shit. Yo, for bullshit. real. You ain't lying, bro. I'm tired of fake believing this shit. Why are there no more house parties? This is one of your topics. Wow. You know, I was thinking, even prior to COVID, there wasn't much house parties. You know, when you think about it. Even prior to COVID... We didn't really see a like the house party phase was kind of like going down, right? But if you remember the house party phase when you had family parties in the house and people came over, not just the neighbors, but people like family actually came over and chilled and ate together. And you might have argued for a little bit over some dominoes, but it kept going with the night. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everything was cool. Like, but those type of nights is. Those are the most memorable nights, right? Because those are coming from our loved ones, right? Our closest confidants, our friends, and stuff like that, right? Versus, you know, you might go out to a club or something like that. I mean, you forget these people like this. You know what I mean? You're going to forget somebody like this. That's why I don't really feel comfortable with clubs in general, just to be honest with you. There's so many. It's it's cool to meet new people, but just not. I feel like I'm not going to meet anybody in the club. I'm not interested. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... <clears throat> What what do you mean about the um the house parties? You're saying there's no more family house parties? Yeah, there's no more family orientated house parties. So that means your family's not as close as they used to be? Because that's really what it means. No, my fam family. my family is. Oh, but so I, I'm I'm just saying I notice it from just oh, in, in a general p- perspective. Ah, I see, I see, Correct. I see. Like it, just a regular perspective. Like, you know, my family, you know, we, we have we throw general parties throughout the year like for certain things and we get together and we do that but i don't normally see it in a lot of other families you know and i'm always like damn you know like some people are calling me like yo when is your family throwing party like, they're expecting my family to throw the next party because that's what they're expecting to go to like because they know their family isn't throwing anything yeah, <laughs> like you know yeah, I hear that. so you know that's that's the kind of thing like you know i'm always like damn you know like what happened to those parties you know yeah. remember they used to be like used to be able to like like especially in the summertime, drive up and down the block and be able to pull over at multiple barbecues or multiple block parties. That's love. You know what I mean? Like, and it's not anymore. It's not like that. Remember, these block parties used to be a thing, yeah, right? Hell yeah. Block up the street, have a block party. Nice kids be able to be able to run around in the street without worrying about the vehicles passing by. Yeah. Excuse me, getting hit by cars or anything like that. You know, those are the type love. of things like. You know, it's definitely missing. I feel like in the community, and and more that's more love, like you said. Like I mean, when you're constantly separated. I mean, how could there be more love? You know. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. What about going out to eat? I feel mm. like it, it's it's been trash lately. Mm. <laughs> like, the expectations. No, you tell are me. High. I was gonna say you tell me because you know we eat different. Expectations are high. The food never really matches up to the hype. I feel like that's what 
so many spots. And I feel like it's been because ever since the pandemic. Wow. And I don't know. Cutting costs on quality, maybe. Even service. For me, it's been amazing. Really? Amazing. Like, I've never been more happier going out more than I was before. Like, because I'm discovering, you know, now that I am plant-based mostly, I'm discovering or vegan, I'm discovering, as you can see, it's more newer restaurants coming out, and everyone is pretty much trying to up the other one. And if not, they're trying to step up the quality. So it's either one. It's if if it's not super large, they are just trying to make sure that the quality is as fresh as possible because that's pretty much what that lifestyle is about. It's about healthy, fresh living and a lifestyle, but they still want flavor. Everybody wants flavor. So that's why I say it's amazing because I've been trying different types of vegan and plant-based food, not just and It's you know, all been good. And for some reason, I, I I haven't I haven't had a bad experience yet, and I'm I'm excited about it. I'm That's excited great. about I'm excited about the summer and what it holds. I mean, as far as trying new things, and I will be trying new stuff tomorrow. Like I like we spoke about. Um, yeah, I'm excited because of that. You know, and like even the way you sound though, just talking about it, it definitely sounds like uh it, you know, it doesn't encourage you as much Yo, to a lot of places have been really disappointed. Yeah, I hear you. For like the past couple of years, I feel. You have to come to the light side, man. You in the dark I'm side. I'm always down for that. No, nah, but you in the dark side. I'm always down. You don't realize it. I love both sides. But the thing is, you're not going to feel like you're in the dark side when you finish eating. That's the, that's 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 my main thing. Food is delicious. All food is delicious. But it's how you feel at the end of the day. Especially when it comes to even just, the, let's just say the day. After you eat this food, how you think you're going to feel at the end of the day? Are you going to be able to be as active as you normally are? Are you going to be sluggish? Are you going to be energetic still? Are you going to be... It's how you feel and how you're able to operate on a day-to-day, especially with what you're eating. Because it will affect you in the long run or in the short run. So that's why, like I said, man, you can indulge in your favorite food. You can have the best Italian food, whatever. But if you're eating and indulging in food that you know is going to put you down or give you low vibrational energy or just 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 put you down to a point where like, yo, you're not, you don't want to do anything... Then that's, that's, that's poison if it's making you feel like clearly that. you but know what i'm meat saying doesn't make you feel like that what you said meat doesn't make you feel like that bad food does though like i i let's say feel fast like food let's say food with preservatives i feel like i feel like, like, like all bad food does like i mean whatever bad it is food, of course whatever it is i mean still like if it I doesn't say just meat though you can no eat, no you can no eat, i don't eat, say eat, you know what i mean nah, but i don't think to be honest with you i don't think there's a lot of stuff even with meat you shouldn't mix with like that's just a given you know, it, it's just not good for you, period. Like, it's right. not good for your body. Like, meats and cheeses and things like that, it's, it's just not. It may be delicious, but it's just not the best thing for your digestive system. We're talking about your digestive tract. Um, it'll take you longer to digest these foods. No matter how delicious it is, oh, yeah, yeah, health is wealth. So, at the end of the day, that's the way I look at I look at what I can, what I can eat that's delicious and... You know, I don't have any problems digesting and, and, you know, using the bathroom. I'm not constipated. None of that. I don't ever have to worry about those things. Because the older you get, you're going to have to worry about those things. The older you get, you're going to have to <laughs> keep going to get cavity checks and all that. You know, and you, you want to avoid those things. The only way to avoid those things is to eat right, to be honest with you. That's the only way. You need a healthy track system. 100%. So, yeah. I'm, I'm with both sides. I'm mm-hmm. with the meat side. Mm-hmm. I'm with the vegan side. Yeah. Because in general, is if you're doing them both in the clean way, because mm-hmm. you could be vegan and eating like shit. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? That's 100%. And, and you could be eating meat and eating like shit. That's... And then the exact opposites. Yeah. I'm with both of them. As long as you're doing them right, it's, it's all good. If it's natural, clean meat, and it's you're not adding nothing ridiculous to it, there's yeah. nothing that has been added to it. Right. With some vegetables on the side, Something. you're going to be okay. Yeah, you're going to be right. Same thing if you're not eating meat at all. As right. long as it's good vegetables and right. fresh stuff. And it's not because 
there's a lot of vegan bullshit out there. Of course. There, there's a lot of like, 100%. You know, like the fake, vegan meats. A lot of fake meats. Like the vegan meats. Some yeah. of the vegan, fake vegan meats are, are terrible. Like, like a lot of, if you notice like the, it's like, like the burgers, like, you know, like the meat burgers. I've like, had the beef ones. They're, I've had it, decent ones. It depends on, you know, but the, the brands. the chicken ones are disgusting oh i've never tried anything anything not real chicken is not it's not good i've never tried a burger <laughs> i've never tried a burger with you know a chicken burger or anything like that but beef um <clears throat> i've tried beef burger like the impossible burger and like the whatever and then they say something about like i don't know which one it is like that's something that's not good for you whatever but i don't i don't eat those pretty much anymore i've there's different brands yeah, that I, mean, have, I used to try them but i'm like I'm, I'm done with these yeah you gotta have a good one that's the thing you have to have a you have to try a, a good one and not those brands to be honest because i've noticed those brands have been super mass produced to the point where you know they're available everywhere once a, a product is available everywhere and it's like man that product is already you know like you said the quality is already gone you know so that's why i don't necessarily buy stuff like that um you heard about the chicken that got approved by the FDA? Yes, the lab meat. Yep. So how do you feel about that? Since it's not real well, animal. Well, that's what... You, you would fuck with it? No. Because it's that's... not a real animal. But that's, no, but that's exactly why they can... That's, that gives them every reason to hide everything else that actually goes into it. You know, they can tell you, oh, that's perfect. That's not... We're not going to give you a real animal, but oh, we'll throw some rat poison in it for yeah, you to eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the opportunity, and that's the reason why they didn't... <clears throat> excuse me um nationally publicize it as much and they were so focused on the submarine shit you know they didn't um post it as much as they should have because most people didn't even know about that but of course i did you did and um when i did discuss it with some people they had no idea you know and that's what i'm saying like things like that they won't publicize it because that's not something most people would be you know fond of people prefer being blind right like I rather not know. I know. I rather not I know when I go to these restaurants, it's not real. But don't tell me. Don't right. remind me. Hundred percent. I'm like, gonna give it to my new boy. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna give it to my grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole family lives off this. Yeah. Don't tell me what's in there. It's don't, delicious yeah. and it's hot. And it's hot. And it's affordable right and now. And they got it all day. And it's affordable. And they got it all year. <laughs> and they got pancakes at 10 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> they got bacon. They got turkey bacon. Yo, what is turkey? Me. What is turkey bacon made of? Turkey. Nah, show me. Yo, show me. I don't know what part. Of turkey show me. Is. That's what I'm. It's look, processed. listen. It's processed. Listen, it's I. Created. It's created, but it's created from turkey. That's what it listen, is. Listen, but I want to know how. I want to see it. I don't care, man. I want to see it. Same way they make nah, hot dogs. Nah, like mashing turkey bits. Together. Nah, that's crazy. They make, they make it. I don't believe it. I want to see it. It is what it is, man. You know? It's what so. are you going to do? I don't even get it. I, I just go for the real stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing. If you don't know which way you're teetering, tottering. Yeah, that's true. The least you could do is get the real stuff. Right. If you're still going to eat like a piece of shit, yeah. at least get the real stuff. That's true. The real sugar over the splendor, oh, over oh all that. That's what I mean when I say real stuff. Yeah. You might <laughs> as well, if you're going to go sugar, do the real stuff. Mm -hmm. Don't think you're doing yourself a benefit. By doing the splendor mm -hmm. and the fake sweetness, you know that poison. <clears throat> you know they have one. They have one sugar that's a plant based sugar that I use, and it's I heard of it. It's called monk fruit. It's it's um it's monk fruit, and they use the sugar from so the monk the, fruit. It's the sugar from the fruit. Yes, that sounds amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I use it every once in a while. I don't even barely use it though, because I don't drink coffee. Get. Definitely get real sugar if you can. Get <laughs> you get it at a Costco. <laughs> You can get it at Costco. It's actually not nice. hard to get. You can get it at Costco. But they only sell like one little bag. They don't sell them double. That's what I'm saying. I don't think you see that in supermarket. No. Nah. That's what I'm saying. It's no, hard not to a get. regular supermarket. Everybody got access to Costco. Oh, yeah, that's true. But, that's true. Um, but yeah, everything real and everything natural is the best way to go. Yeah, 100%. Best way to go. Everything artificial, everything full of preservatives, it's not the way to go. Nah. Natural, real, and fresh. No way. That's the way. You got any last words about the closes off? Any advice or anything you want to tell the people? Yo, never forget quality over quantity. Woo! This is a must. I guarantee you, once you start following that, even with people, food, people, your art, you will thrive. I promise you. You will thrive and you'll never, ever regret it. I promise you. Quality over quantity.
all day, every day. All right. Quality over quantity. Thank you for watching. Peace and love.